Mama, Mama Brenda, yeah, Mama Brenda. Um, she was definitely that, uh, a mother figure, somebody you could definitely look up to. Um, she probably was one of the first people who gave me opportunity on the West Side working through Lyric Mentor. Um, she was a lady who always gave inspiration, even when she critiqued you and, you know what I'm saying, gave you them pointers where you was lacking. You know what I'm saying? She definitely did it in a way where you was like, dang, you right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the thing that I was thinking too, but like, I, I wasn't brave enough to say it to myself. So it was good that she could reflect that back at me. So, man, yeah, definitely a mother figure and someone who gave a lot of inspiration and a lot of her heart. She was real. She was real. The presence of Mama Brenda that I was saying was like really like getting a chance to see what it is to respect the elder on the poetry scene. You know, whenever she walked into the room, you know, I always knew it was like she exuded that I'm like a mother on the poetry scene. She just exuded this presence. Mm -hmm. So to the point where the last time I even seen her living, uh, months before she passed, I just I came up to her and like, my brother, if I said about you, that means I'm automatically in the VIP section. <laughs> so then she like moved, came close to the stage. I'm like, mom, brother, that's crazy. You just moved the VIP section over her. You know, because she was just... You could just tell, like, it was so much phenomenal, like, the type of phenomenal woman that Mike Angelo speaks about. You could tell that Mama Brenda just embodied that. It was just yeah. amazing. She was the mentor's mentor. So, without her, a lot of what goes on on the Chicago poetry scene wouldn't exist. A lot of people would not have been touched the way that they were touched. And I know we wouldn't have been touched the way we were touched because she touched the people that teach us yes. so much. So... Yeah, she's, she's our teacher. Um, inspiration and definitely motivational. Um, when I think about Mama Brenda, I always think about like a lioness. Like she embodied a lion to me, a sweet lion though. Like <laughs> she's like cool, and then she like hard at the same time. It was funny, and I definitely, definitely, definitely am so like grateful to have um, to have met her, and definitely grateful to have. Um, did the poem, the tribute poem, I would definitely be grateful for that. Strong, powerful, and a beautiful lady. Um, I remember the first time seeing her perform at the Renaissance Fair on 79th and Racine. And um, the poem she did, I can't recall what it was, but it was in a nice little collection book. You know, she takes her pose, she cracks it open, mm -hmm. and then when she starts to speak, and it's a whole different person. It's like, yeah, you know, Mama Brenda, boom, boom, boom. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm, whoa, yes, she got it. Like, passion, full-blown passion every time she spoke a word. And that's one of the memorable, most memorable things I have from Mama Brenda, especially when working with her. Um, we had did a show with her at a church on the west side. A um, bunch of random people we never met before, but they were so warming and loving. And those are the type of people that Mama Brenda surrounded herself with, you know. The community loved her. Like she touched so many people's lives, from babies to the elders that we see as elders, and so forth. You know, so you know, um, her being on the west side, me being on the south side. I saw it when I could, but when I did see it, when I had got the chance to hug her, it was a, a moment that you could not forget. She's so warm. She was everybody's mom. She made you smile no matter what, and we miss her. I love her.